Hi guys, it's story time with Grandma. Tonight we're going to read The Talent Show. Mickey Mouse sighed as he looked out the window. It was pouring outside. Sorry, gang, he said. It doesn't look like we'll be able to go for a hike today after all. Now what are we going to do? Donald asked. I have an idea, Minnie said. Let's put on a talent show. We can have it right here. And we can invite all our friends, added Mickey. Donald had a great idea for an act, but he couldn't do it alone. Hey, Pluto, you want to be in my act? He asked. Pluto barked happily. Great, Donald replied. He dashed to the kitchen. A few minutes later, he came back carrying a large bowl of fruit. Everyone was curious about Donald's props, but he didn't want to ruin the surprise. Come on, Pluto, he said. Let's go practice in the attic. Donald waited until they were all alone to tell Pluto about his big idea. We're going to have the best act in the talent show, he exclaimed. I'm going to juggle this fruit. Then I'll throw it to you one piece at a time so you can balance it on your nose. <clears throat> Donald grabbed an apple, a peach, and a pear. Watch this, he said. Donald talked tossed the fruit into the air and started to juggle. Pluto was so impressed that he sat back and barked his approval. Good, you sit just like that, Donald told Pluto. Now I'll throw the fruit over one at a time, okay? One, two, three. Just as Donald tossed the peach to Pluto, the attic door creaked open. Pluto spun around to see who it was there. The peach sailed past his head and landed on the floor with a juicy splat. I just wanted to see if you'd like to help invite our friends to the talent show, Daisy said, holding up the phone. Can't you see we're practicing? Donald snapped. Then he closed the door right in Daisy's face. Donald picked up the smashed peach. Yuck, he said. I can't juggle with this. Donald picked up a plum from the fruit bowl and started juggling again. The fruit swims whoosh, whoosh, whoosh through the air. This time, when Donald tossed the plum into the air, Pluto was ready. He caught it on his nose. Great job, Donald cheered. Okay, here comes the pear. Knock, knock, knock. Pluto and Donald jumped. The plum rolled off Pluto's nose. Donald dropped the pear and the ac apple accidentally. All the fruit went splat. Hi there, Donald. Howdy, Pluto. Wow, it looks like you're really work you're working really hard, Mickey said. I can't wait to What do you want? Donald grumbled. We're almost ready to go on, Mickey replied. I was wondering if you'd like to help decorate the set. We don't have time for that, Donald said. Can't you see we're practicing? Oh, Mickey said. Sorry to bother you. Donald took a deep breath and picked up another apple. It's almost time for the show, he said, and we still haven't practiced all the way through. Pluto looked worried. It's okay, Pluto, Donald continued. I'm good at jungling things and you're good at catching things. I'm sure it will be. Just then, Minnie poked her head into the attic. Does anybody need help with their costumes? She asked. No, Donald hollered. What we need is practice and no more interruptions. I'm sorry, Minnie replied, but Mickey asked me to give you a message. The show is about to start. Donald peeked out the attic window. Sure enough, he could see Huey, Dewey, and Louie dodging raindrops as they hurried to the house. Good luck with your last practice, Minnie said in a small voice before she slipped out the door. Donald looked at the fruit bowl. It had looked so full before, but now there was only a prickly pineapple, a watermelon, and a bunch of bananas left. There was barely enough fruit to juggle in the show, let alone practice with. When they went downstairs, Donald and Pluto could see how hard everyone had worked to get ready for the show, the talent show. Donald wondered how they'd had time to practice their own acts. I'm sorry, Donald said. I should have helped everybody else get ready instead of yelling at you for interrupting my rehearsal. Mickey smiled and stepped in front of the audience. Welcome, friends, to the rainy day talent show, he announced. Donald watched as his friends shared their acts. First, Mickey performed an amazing magic trick. 
Then Minnie did a special dance. Next, Daisy played a song on her harmonica. You're up, Mickey told Donald and Pluto. Break a leg. Donald and Pluto walked to the center of the stage. As Pluto sat back on his haunches, Donald grabbed a bunch of bananas. But Donald had never juggled with a bunch of bananas before. The bananas flew across the room, making the whole audience laugh. Donald's cheeks turned red, turned pink, as he grabbed the pineapple and tossed it in the air. Ouch! Oh! Oh! oh Donald exclaimed as he tried to juggle it. He glanced at Pluto, who shook his head and hid his head under his paws. Soon, only the watermelon was left. When Pluto saw Donald reach for it, he hid under the couch. The audience howled with laughter. Too embarrassed and upset to face his friends, Donald rushed off the stage. Pluto nuzzled his hands. A few minutes later, Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy joined them. What's wrong, Donald? Daisy asked. Donald stopped, stared at her in amazement. What's wrong? He said. Everything. My act was a disaster. It made everyone laugh and turned me into a big joke. Actually, Mickey said, you and Pluto were the stars of the show. That's right, Minnie agreed. We wanted to entertain our friends and you did. Everyone's having a great time. In fact, I can still hear them clapping, Minnie, Mickey said. Donald couldn't believe it, but Mickey was right. Everyone was clapping. You'd better get out there and give them an encore, Mickey told him. I don't have enough fruit, Donald said. Pineapples and watermelons were not made for juggling. How about you juggle balls instead, Daisy suggested. And we'll save the fruit for fruit salad, Minnie said, giggling. That is the end of this story.